I'm um, going to step through this a little bit quickly here. Um, assuming you've got the user manual there too, it's got a pretty good description of how to go about this. Uh, this would be how to do a full EMT adjustment on the Thermo 42 IQ. You'll need a way to deliver zero air and also your span gas. So I'm going to start out assuming that you're flowing zero gas right now. Uh, this one's just in room air, but assuming you're flowing zero gas and your readings over here were stable, first thing we'd do is we'd come into calibration, we'd come into calibrate backgrounds, and we'd hit calibrate this guy. We hit calibrate, that will accept the NO calibration for the zero. We'd do the same thing for the NOx, we'd hit calibrate. So now our backgrounds are set. We'll go in then to advanced calibration and manual calibration. And once we're flowing our span gas, and we know that it's been flowing long enough that the instrument is stable, we'll go into these span coefficients, and we would actually set all three of these to 1.00. We'd come in here, we'd type in 1.000, hit enter, hit calibrate. I'm not going to do that right now. But you do that for each of these. They all three would need to be set to 1. So at this point, the background of the instrument has been set but the span is going to be off. Uh, we go back to our home. We're still flowing that gas. We're going to go into settings, measurement settings, advanced measurement settings, reaction chamber settings, and we'll continue to the PMT screen. So in this screen, we've got our current PMT up here. Uh, this target concentration is the concentration of our gas bottle or our dilution, whatever the span concentration is right now. So let's say that was 450 uh, parts per billion, which is what we're using for units right now. So we put in what our gas cylinder is and what we know the instrument to be measuring. This calibration concentration you'll see is the NO, uh, the current NO reading, kind of the zero corrected NO reading. So when I hit this start button, what the instrument's going to do is it's going to move the PMT up and down until this calibration concentration is equal to the target concentration. Uh, that's how we're going to do our PMT. Now it may fail, occasionally it does. There's also not a lot of status that tells you what's going on, but this button will remain yellow while it's running the calibration. If you leave this screen at any time, it's going to abort that calibration. So just hit start, let it run through. If you get a fail, it's going to pop up. Try running it again. Um, I'm not sure the, the reasons why it fails, but if, if it fails, it fails. If it's a big change, so if this, if this jumps a lot, maybe 20, 30 volts or more, that can affect your baseline. So oftentimes after we do a big PMT adjustment, we're going to want to go back, flow our zero gas again, come in and recalibrate our backgrounds with zero gas, then flow our span gas and come in and use this auto calibration. We come back in here, oh, sorry, wrong one, we go calibration. Oh, sorry, yeah, that is right. Calibrate span coefficients. We come in here. We put in that same concentration that we're flowing, 450. And we hit calibrate. That's going to adjust these coefficients. Now, they should end up pretty close to 1. Um, generally, I like to keep those within 20% or so. Uh, so 1.2 to you know, 0 0.8 or so is a pretty good span coefficient. These are more software adjustments, whereas the PMT is a hardware adjustment. So that's, that's the procedures. Um, calibrate the background, set the spans to 1, go in and calibrate your PMT, and then fine-tune the zero and span again uh, using these software features.